Well, good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Manna. I got a word for you on this morning. I'm talking about being consistent. As you can see, I am not in my uh, usual place. I'm hanging out with some elders here, Elder Hayes, uh, Elder Singleton back there on our way to uh, do the Lord's work, uh, be with one of the life changers whose mother passed away. And so you see my head on a swivel because uh, I'm riding with Elder Hayes and I certainly want to make it there all right. Uh, but at any rate, the reason I am late, the reason I am late, well, we won't get into that. Let's just talk about the consistency of God, the consistency of God. But before I do that, I just want to greet a couple of people on this morning. Good morning, Cynthia. How are you on this morning? Uh, good morning, Angela. How are you on this morning? Good morning, Erica Lynn. How are you on this morning? Your, your daughter got game. Your daughter got game. I saw them clips. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Angela. How are you on this morning as well? You know what? In Hebrews, Hebrews, it talks about how God is consistent. And that's what I want to deal with this morning. Greet a few more people and then we're going to get right into it. Good morning, uh, Betty. How are you? Grand rising to you as well. Victor, how are you on this morning? And uh, Francine Hayes, I am riding with your husband right now. He's doing an excellent job. Just want you to know that. Good morning. How are you on this morning? Man, what a wonderful morning it is. Uh, you say, uh, what do you say, Erica Lynn? I'm trying to stay holy at work. You can do it. <laughs> you can stay holy at work. All you got to do is be quiet. That's all you got to do. Everybody leave you alone after that. But, it, but anyhow, good morning, Shelly. How are you on this morning? Uh, you know what? I want to share this word with you on this morning. The consistency of God. The consistency of God. In the book of Hebrews, it tells us God is the same. Actually, 3 and 8 talks about He is the same uh, yesterday, today, and forever. I'm sorry, 8 and 3. I got it. I think I got it right. 8 and 3. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The consistency of God works out to be in his omniscience, his omnipotent, and his omnipresent. God is consistently omniscient, which means God is all knowledgeable. God knows everything. He knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning. God is consistent with being omnipotent. God is all powerful. God is consistently in control. God is consistent with being omnipresent. He is everywhere at the same time with the equal amount of knowledge and the equal amount of power. God is consistent. What does that have to do with you and I? We are not always consistent. Trust when I tell you. Rarely, if ever, are we consistent from Monday through Sunday. The ups and downs of life, the challenges of life, all of those things cause us to be inconsistent and not always faithful. The consistency of God has to do with Him being faithful. I'm so thankful that in my inconsistency, in my ups and downs, in the times when I just don't get it right, sometimes on purpose I don't, other times because I just didn't know any better, God was still there, always consistent. There's nothing worse than a two-faced friend. Am I right about it? There's nothing worse than somebody you can't trust because they are inconsistent. They are one way with you, they're another way with someone else. God says, I have no respect of person. Everybody gets the same amount of, of my power, the same amount of my knowledge, in the same amount of my presence. Now, knowing that, let's move out to this whole weekend knowing the consistency of God. God bless you. Have an excellent day. Share this man. If it bless you, bless somebody else. Can the brothers, can the elders say, see you later. See you later. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you.
God bless you. Keep your eyes on the road, though. <laughs> God bless you. Bye now.